What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about another feature in Placemaker that allows you to use street view images in your city created models. And before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is a website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me at the link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to start off, Placemaker is a paid city creation extension. If you were interested in downloading and checking out Placemaker, um, you can check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash Placemaker. I will note that that is an affiliate link. And uh, basically the way the Placemaker works, and I'll link to some tutorials in the notes down below, is it basically allows you to create a city in a single click. So for example, this is Denver, Colorado, and I created this earlier this morning just by clicking, and uh, there's a button in here, you geo locate your model and then you click the button for make place and it'll import all of your roads and your trees and your buildings in a single click and there's also some high resolution imagery and other things but in this video what I wanted to focus on is what's called tour mode and so basically what tour mode does is it allows you to navigate to a point in your model like let's say I wanted to navigate down on this street then you click this button for placemaker tour and what this does is this actually finds a street view view associated with wherever you're at from a geolocation standpoint and this works on I believe any geolocated model but you can see how what this does is this actually syncs your view up with Street View so that you can see actual images of the location that you're at. And this is useful for a lot of different things. You can use this to take a look at the buildings around you in order to update them because a lot of the time the buildings that get brought in are just simple cubes or squares or rectangles or stuff like that. And uh, sometimes they look a little bit different. You can come in and you can update these. And what you'll notice is as you move around in Street View, you can see how your views kind of synced up and your placemaker view will adjust along with this. So you can see how you can see the tall buildings in here. This actually works really well, well with a second monitor, um, just because um, right now you kind of have to split the screen. I'm not a huge fan of having to do that. But one of the cool things about this is in addition, so. And so you can actually take textures off of these buildings and you can apply them to faces. And we'll talk about that more in a second. So first of all, let's say that you're flying around in your model and you wanna pick like a new location. So let's say for example, I was on that street, I wanna move over to one of these streets and zoom in down here. What you can do is you can zoom into that location, then click the button for load SketchUp view, and this'll reload your street view imagery from right here. And one of the cool things I like about this is if you zoom in and out on the, uh, on the street view image, you can see how your field of view automatically updates in your SketchUp image. So if you need more imagery, if you kinda of need to get zoomed out, kinda of the default field of view doesn't really give you a whole lot. So it's kinda of this like 30 degree field of view. You can see how you can see a little bit of these buildings, but not a bunch. Well, if you zoom back out, you can see how that field of view updates within your SketchUp model. And so let's say, for example, that I wanted to come down, I think this is the 16th Street Mall in Denver, and I wanted to get some imagery and uh, put it on my buildings for like some geographical context or something like that. Um, what I would do is I would um, navigate down here and I would go to uh, Load SketchUp View, and then I can move around inside this Street View image. So I can navigate until I kind of see what I want to see in here. And then once I do that, I can actually take these images and apply them to faces within this model. So, and I will note that the closer to the ground you get, the worse the imagery gets, just because these are all taken from a car. So all the things like light poles and stuff like that kind of get in your way, but you can still use these to quickly add, like let's say you wanted to add something to this Walgreens building, for example, or something like that. We'll pick one that's a little more uniform, just because that works a little bit easier. This is probably a good building for that. We'll just move back a little bit. All right, this will have to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my tree layer off because they're kind of in the way. So I'm gonna go to my layers and uh, notice that Placemaker puts these all on a layer so I can just turn the trees off. Well, now what I wanna do is I wanna take this texture and I wanna apply it to this building. So the way we're gonna do that is we're actually going to come into Placemaker and we're gonna double click on this face and you're gonna find the face that you wanna texture using this image. And you may get a little distortion here just because of the uh, angle that we had to do with this, but we'll see what we can do with it. So you're gonna find this angle 
for this building and then we're going to click the button for create photo match when you click create photo match what that's going to do is that's actually going to come in here and that's going to create a view um, from this mode with that photo in the background so if you navigate away from that and then click on it you can go back to it and part of the reason I'm going to navigate away is it's a little counterintuitive if you're really going to do a lot with the street view I found that I think you really need to adjust the building to match your street view not the other way around and so um, because I don't think there's a good way to really adjust the texture and uh, I'm sure somebody will be along to tell me if I'm wrong but I've found that what works a little bit better is if you just adjust your building so that it matches the height of this image that works better and uh, that kind of makes sense because you really need to make your building match the proportions of the photo not the other way around so you can see how I push pulled that up just a little bit so now I can click on this and then what I'm gonna do is there's a button down here for project textures on selected faces and so if I click click that button what that's going to do is that's going to take that texture and that's going to apply that to this face and now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit I'm actually going to change my field of view using the magnifying glass and I'm just going to hold shift and click and uh, we're going to change our field of view to something more like let's say 50 so that'll just kind of remove the distortion then all you need to do is you just come in here and you just right click and you can use the position texture tools in order to adjust this so that it fits on the face. And then once we're done, we can right click and click done and you can see how you can easily apply street view images to each one of these faces using this tool. And before anyone asks, there's not a way to mass do this. This is still kind of a manual thing. So I wouldn't suggest trying to texture the whole city, but if you have, if you have a certain area, like if you're doing work, let's say in this block for example and you need to texture a few buildings this could be a great tool in order to do that and one thing to note about that is when I push pulled this up none of the rooftop equipment or anything moved with it so you, it is a little bit of a trade-off um, trying to apply this to this face but overall still a great tool for modeling geographical context so that's where I'm gonna end this video leave a comment below and let me know what you thought um, how are you creating geographical context models I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.